Hey, welcome back to the bar. Today we're gonna to be drinking a Perry from England. And it's kind of interesting because this Perry is sort of an endangered species. Stick around to find out why. Let's drink this now. Now, whenever I find a new Perry on the shelf, I'll spring for it because I really want to explore what Perry is all about. And I found this one, Ross on Wise Flaky Bark Perry on the shelf at Ale Jail the other day and I just had to get it. It's a naturally fermented cider from Herefordshire, England and that's kind of the birthplace of Perry. So let's dig in and figure out what this thing's all about. Whew. Okay. I mean, this is like, it's funky on the four. It is full of barnyard funk, wood, tannin, overripe pear, almost a nutty aroma to it. And a little burst of maybe Meyer lemon. Interesting, so those real barnyardy aromas aren't really coming through as strongly on the taste. It's much more subtle, much more delicate, very dry with just that subtle sweetness that you get in Perry. That's because sorbitol, the sugar compound that's in pears, doesn't ferment out. So that's just perceived sweetness there. And it does have the, a little bit of that nutty character carrying through and just a little bit of that barnyard funk. It's really nice on the, on the tongue. So the funk that is coming off of this isn't that sort of barnyardy, leathery, brett funk that you get in some farmhouse and wild beers. This is a much more like overripe pear and almost like decomposing leaves. I, I kind of imagine the smell that you would get walking through an orchard in late harvest season when windfalls have fallen off the tree and they're, they're decomposing on the ground with the leaves. And it's that sort of a smell that's coming off of this. Now what makes this Perry special, it's made from pears from the flaky bark pear tree, which there's only six mature flaky bark Perry pear trees in the world left. So it's kind of like sort of critically endangered. Uh, and they're located on a hill called May Hill next to this cidery and Perry making uh, outfit in Herefordshire, England. So, this is a real special drink. Attractive in the glass, bursts with a lot of character on the nose, and it's super delicate on the, on the palate. There's an old proverb that says, plant pears for your heirs. And that's because peri pear trees can last over hundreds and hundreds of years and still be productive. Now, what I've learned from drinking some peris, specifically from England, is that Perry is a much more delicate beverage than cider. Cider can be really robust and have a ton of structure to it. And Perry still has some of the tannic structure uh, that kind of creates a, a full body in your, in your mouth, but the flavors are way more delicate. The, the sort of sweetness that you get from biting into a fresh pear is different from the sweetness and the acid that you get biting into an apple, and that carries through in the beverage itself. So I picked up this bottle for $23 at Ale Jail. It's certainly a premium price, and I would say that it lives up to that price tag. It's a premium beverage, and this is one that you're gonna definitely wanna share with some other people. Keep it well chilled like a nice white wine, and serve it at your next dinner party. Well, thanks for joining me for this drink review on this Ross on Y Flaky Bark Perry. Uh, it was a pleasure to drink, and I think you'll have a pleasure drinking it too. Go grab a bottle before they run out. They're in short supply, just like the Perry trees they came from.